Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for my summer school training today. Getting my lunchbox ready. I'm trying to decide kind of what I want for breakfast. I think I might just go with a simple granola bar. Um, and I was gonna do oatmeal, but it doesn't really look like I have time to eat that. So I might just eat a granola bar and um, a banana on the way to the school that I'm going to today. But this is just me getting ready to go. Um, it's gonna be six, this is like 6.25 hours. And then we have an hour for lunch as well. So it will be interesting. I don't know anything other than that. So wish me luck. Eee, I'm so excited. <laughs> So I need to be leaving in about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go over this really quick and explain what my theme is and show you my materials that I'll be bringing to my classroom so that most of this video can be about setting up the classroom. So if you can't tell, my theme is kind of a vacation-y, like Hawaiian vacation, outdoors, fish, um, just kind of stuff to encompass what the summer would kind of be made of and um, just showing the kids that I acknowledge like it is still summer but you're here to learn as well so, so the first things I'll be showing you are from the dollar store then I went to Target and then I have other miscellaneous things that I already had as part of my teaching um, my teaching hoarding problem <laughs> I'm bringing the normal desk materials. I'm also bringing my laminator because I started laminating some things yesterday. I know I'm so excited. By the way, this is like my first real classroom, so I'm super excited. And I went ahead last night and I already had these. They're very similar to these little name tags. These obviously are not, this is not laminated, but this is what the laminated one looks like and I just cut them out. These are going to be my daily schedule. So I'll write the name of the subject here, the time, and then put it in the clock as well. And then on the back, I just put, I bought a little strip of some of these magnets and put them on the back of all of those. I'm also bringing to keep my theme going I already had these stickers. I didn't end up, oh, these are the non-laminated ones, but I already had these stickers in my collection. 
So I just have a bunch of cutesy ones, but I did get all of these from Target probably last year. You can see they have the dollar spot little logo on there. And that is mostly what I'm gonna be bringing. I'll show you guys kind of as I set up my classroom. Now I have a big mess around me. I also have this bag that I got in Hawaii just filled with a bunch of different materials. Oh, I also got this from Michaels. I thought this would be cute because they're going into fifth grade. Um, but yeah, this is just a bunch of like pens, pencils, flare pens, Sharpies. And then I just have some little lights as well just to make it cutesy. I also had this flamingo previously, so just kind of cute and lights up as well. So I'll just kind of show you guys those things when I get to the school. So I'll see you guys there. Bye. Okay, so I just got into my classroom after lots of confusion and people not really knowing where I'm supposed to be. I got a big stack of papers that I have to look through and I'm a little bit frustrated because I had asked when I should come. They had a meeting on Tuesday and I assumed they were going to have a meeting today on Friday and nobody's here. So apparently everybody showed up on Tuesday, which I had asked about and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, there's a lot of like miscommunication and I'm kind of confused. There's different things that I'm like, how do I access those? I don't currently have any technology in here, so I'm supposed to have it, but I don't have it. So that's kind of confusing. And yeah, let me just show you guys what this room looks like and the excitement that I have to go through for the next few hours in setting this up. So this room may be familiar because I was in here for my fourth grade long-term sub. Now it looks completely different because everything's put up against the wall you can see there. So I have to move all of this stuff to get it to where I want it to look like and be. But it is kind of fun to have it this the same classroom I was in. However, um, you can see there's really not much to be working with, but this is what I got. I finished I'm so happy and I'm going to walk around and show you guys what I did because I'm really really excited this is my first classroom like setting it up and having it be mine and it is so fulfilling and exciting and I just love it I highly recommend I mean I see like I highly recommend decorating it just is making me feel so happy and I feel like when the kids walk in on Monday they're gonna be so happy and excited as well or at least some of them will be and I definitely recommend decorating your classroom because it's just putting a smile on my face and I'm so happy and it didn't take that long and wasn't that expensive so let me just show you guys kind of the materials and how much they cost and why it's making me so flippant excited. I do realize that normal classes would not be this open because obviously I have a bunch of desks back there and I have about half-ish of the students that a normal classroom has nowadays, but I'm super happy and I think it's a really great starting point. So I have 15 students. So I have a desk of four and another and another. So obviously that's 12 and then I'm gonna have some seated over here. I just don't have their seats out quite yet. And then this is the door. So this is what they'll see when they first walk in. And then when we're leaving and coming out, I'm just gonna hang my two, I just have to put this up quick, my two cute bags right here. I have this one from Hawaii and then this one just has a bunch of fish on it and some things on the wall. I put a couple of those other fish sticky things on the on this cabinet as well and then this is what they're gonna see when they first walk in this was a tablecloth from the dollar section or from the dollar store all of these I showed you were from the dollar store dollar store free things from Maui Wowie 
that was a dollar or two and I just thought it was cute because they're going into fifth grade this thing that I showed you summer school obviously this I already had but I think it was like a dollar and then that was a dollar oops and this guy fell down come here if I can get it back up so that's all that stuff the table was provided by the school I have all of these and I have their names on the other side um, I'm just not showing them for privacy of the students but I just put those all over the table there is this provided desk so I just put all of those all over the desk there's a little storage area for my things on this back wall I just have some lights plugged in and that's an automatic timer and some more of those little decorations a boys and girls pass that I got as a gift another lay for myself um, these are from a store called Lakeshore I just got them for free from someone else really capture those resources from other people because it'll be so helpful there's that little one dollar blow up guy that I got and then a bunch of stuff there's the schedule for the day and I just wrote it all out that dark purple one is recess there's the one dollar fish one dollar lantern and then I just wrote welcome to summer school I'm going to write my morning message on here and that's pretty much it this is where I'll work with groups and then I have some clipboards for when we go outside and do some of our learning stuff or journaling stuff I thought this was really cute it's from the dollar spot at Target it just says hashtag learn and has a bunch of these cute cute apples so I just put those kind of around it and that's on the back window so I am super excited obviously I have a smaller class size and I'm kind of coming in with some provided materials so that does help in making a really great classroom atmosphere but definitely I think it's gonna be super exciting and my first classroom so I'm super happy and all of that stuff so all right that will be all sorry I'm shaky <laughs> no I'm just kidding um that will be all for today um today is Friday so I will start on Monday I'm still not totally sure of everything just because I guess I didn't go to that meeting so I don't know how to log into some things like attendance I don't know exactly what the schedule completely looks like which is kind of frustrating um, I know when my field trips going to be now so that helps in planning and I got a bunch of math games so that helps in planning but yeah I'm kind of nervous but I think it will be fine the first day is always like introductions and um, excitement anyways so I hope it will be good wish me luck you guys I'm super excited and I will catch you next week. Bye!